Hola, mi amores, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Heidi, or in Spanish, Ayude. It's New Year's Eve! Everybody's getting prepared for festivities and all of that. So, let's do a look. You know, let's prepare ourselves for New Year's Eve. I'm not going anywhere. You know, I'm chilling here with the kids. But hey, I'm going to help you guys out. If you want it. But anyway, if you guys are interested in what look I'm going to create today, stay here with me. Hey guys, so I did bring you a little bit closer so you guys can see all the nasty details on my face. Just kidding. Um, so let's prep. We are going to go ahead and use my favorite prep and fry. My studio fix. I love this stuff so much. Every single kind. This is the lavender one if you guys are interested and it smells it's kind of strong but it smells really good the the scent doesn't really like linger or anything but i just i love the studio fix plus it just it's amazing to kind of like prep your skin but anyway i'm gonna go ahead because i have large pores i'm gonna go ahead and use my dr brent as a primer I want to hide some pores I do want to create a little silky canvas here with my little Tatcha primer I kind of just put it everywhere sparingly especially my rough areas around here just to kind of help out with uh, making the foundation look a little bit smoother and even on those areas foundation I've been loving this black up foundation. If you guys didn't see my video for that, go ahead and check it out. This is a really, really, really good foundation I've found so far. It lasts a really good time and the coverage is so nice. Um, like I said, their shades are limited because it is targeted to women of color, but I'm in love. I am in love. I'm going to go a little bit lighter than I usually do. Like, I want the coverage, but I don't want... I don't want to put too much. I'm just not in the mood, you know. Go in with our trusty Tarte Shape Tape. Right here. Mine is in Light Sand. I don't know if I mentioned what the... My foundation color for the Black Up is... If I can find it... Um, zero one. I know there was letters with that from what I remember, but it's zero one. It's the lightest one right now. If you guys are wondering what happened to my piercings, this one was starting to irritate me. It was starting to get like a bump. So I think my skin was rejecting it. I'm not 100% sure, but I know I wasn't going to take the chance. So I went ahead and took that one out. And then me fighting this cold, I kept blowing my nose so much that I lost my nose ring. And I can't find my backups. So I was just like, at this point, I don't really care. Maybe they just don't want me anymore. A little bit holiday crazy here. I haven't gotten to use this too much yet. But I'm going to use my Patrick Star. Um, setting powder. Just put some in the lid. I did want to get some more, but can you believe they're sold out already? Like, dang. I even thought about that when I bought it. I was like, you know what? The first one sold out so quickly that I probably should just get two at a time. But since I didn't get my hands on the first one, I was like, hmm, what if I don't like it like everybody else? So, me second guessing myself. There it went. It's very, very white right now. We're gonna go with it because everything's gonna blend out so cute. So we're gonna keep it on with Patrick and I'm gonna use his Give Me Life bronzer, which is, it's life right now. This is like the bronzer that I use all the time. And it's just, it's so smooth. It's just, it's perfect. I don't really do contour if you guys, you know, followed me enough to know that. So this is pretty much my contour. I just bronze, you know. 
It looks so funny right now. <laughs> Especially on camera. Like when you do this by yourself, you just don't even think about it. When you're like looking in the camera, it's like, wow, what's wrong with you? Some Morphe on the cheeks. And this is in the color Spirit. Or shade, not really color, well, color, shade, whatever. It works. Dab a little bit. Give them cheeks some color. Next is highlights, and we're gonna go with a very crazy dirty um, Ofra in Everglow. And we are going to use my little trusty round soft blend here. Look how pretty that is. I like that it's subtle, or at least I put it on subtle. Some people put it on, you know, hella glowy. And that's your, you know, that's your thing. That's your preference. Mine is just subtle, subtleness to the teeth. Sample here forever, and it is the Dip Brow Pomade by Anastasia. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this out. Why not? Do I say why not a lot? Probably do. So there is like a quad in here, and there is dark brown, ebony, granite, and ash brown. So, and these are matte. They are also waterproof. And I definitely don't want the very like, black looking one, which is the granite. I think I just want dark brown. Should we just go with dark brown? Or shall we go with ash brown? Why the accent? I don't know. Kind of like height today. Why? I don't know. I don't know much of anything today. All right, let's go in with this tiny little brush here. Oh, it is like liquid. I thought it was going to be like harder. Look at that big hole. Which is right here in front of me. And I go for this tiny little brush. That's perfect color. Alright, I'm gonna finish them. So, they came out pretty dark, but they're looking good. They're looking good. Now, I got this Aliman palette. This is the second edition, or volume two, however you wanna say it there. And I am gonna use this. I think. I think. So, with that, because there are no transition colors in there. I am also going to use, let's see what I have first, <laughs> I think I'm going to use the, I don't know what color, this is out of um, Heat Stroke, and I think I'm going to use this color right here as a transition shade, and then kind of play with it from there. So we're going to go in first. this color I'm going to try to go all the way to the brow bone that's always where I try to carry my transitions color my transition colors too is all the way to the brown brow bone just so they I don't know to me it looks better just because I had like I feel like I have a smaller spaced eye compared to a lot of people so I feel like you know that's the best way to work with the shape of my eye is to work most of the colors higher than what they're supposed to if that makes sense the Aliman Volume 2 palette, I'm going to go ahead and use Pink Flamingo. And I'm kind of going to go exactly where I was 
but not quite as far up. That is so pretty. It is not as pink as it looks in the pan once you have it on your eye. And plus I have that other transition, co transition color. I am tongue tied today, um, which helps with, you know, not making it so pink too much craziness. I'm going to kind of keep it pretty simple. So I'm going to spray my brush with Fix Plus, which you don't really need it, but you know, in some cases it does help to make the eye look a little bit more bold. So I'm going to go ahead with Azucar right here. This really, really pretty, um, I guess silver metallic color. And I'm going to put that all over the eye, but I'm going to stop like right here and then bring it the whole way over as I get it on my nose. Okay, I'm going to bring it up as far as I can. There is surprisingly a whole, I don't know if you can see it, there is a whole lot of fallout. Which I'm surprised because I wet it. You know what I mean? I wasn't expecting all that. Small little blending brush. I think I'm going to go into a color is this. That's a green. I thought it was a black. So let's go into Damas. Damas is kind of like a brownish plum color. We'll go into Damas and we will smoke this out a little bit. I just love how these colors just work together. I'm gonna go back in with my tra tradition. I'm going to go back in with my transition color and kind of blend out any lines that I may see because I want it to look very blended. I don't want like too many lines separating everything, which doesn't look too bad actually. Here there's a little bit. You guys know I always have to have a little bit of a pop of color. So I'm going to take um, Rumba right here, this nice purple one. <laughs> I said it's so weird. You're free to judge. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and smoke that out in the bottom. Let's put a little wing in it. I'm going to use my LA Splash Architect liner here from I think it was from my allure box yeah. guys I swear to you my lashes took like a million years to put on and these are supposed to be like the simplest little magnetic ones they're just mm -mm. they're so mean they are horrible But anyway, let's get some lips on. Like, I don't even have lips on, and my eyes are, like, hella watering. So, yeah, no. For New Year, you got a sparkle. So, I was going to go for a red lip, and then I forgot that I had this baby. And this is my Glitter Flip by Seate. So, we are going to do some glitter flip. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's dry down very matte. So you definitely need to wait to it is completely dry to start, you know, pressing your lips. It's just, it's how you're going to get the best results. It's nice and dry. Let's see if the magic still happens because I haven't used this in such a long time. Magic happened. Magic happened. So 
So I definitely don't know if this was like the lip color that should have gone with this look. But I just thought sparkle, new year, you sparkle, champagne, you know, kind of connected there. Yeah. You probably don't know what I'm talking about because it probably didn't even make sense. But this is my new year's look. Let me know if you guys like this look by giving me a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys.